this is how you know you're in Little Tokyo. Little Tokyo, you guys. Got the, the most Japanese traditional view of LA. Maybe even uh, the country, honestly. Because there is no other little Tokyo from uh, what I know about. So right here, San Pedro and second? No, I think San Pedro and first. Japanese Village Plaza is I'm pretty sure the name you could find here on uh, Google Maps, but Little Tokyo. Our way through here check out what's going on in little Tokyo Sefuji. Sefuji was born in Yamaguchi Prefecture Japan and arrived in LA in 1903 an early graduate of USC uh, won the U.S. Supreme Court ruling to build Japanese hospital in 1929. He was the founding publisher of the Kashu Manuchi Daily Newspaper, located on 339 East 2nd Street, not too far from here. So that's a quick little, a quick little history lesson. Check out the gear. Oh, look at that. But I know it's pricey. Look at the outfits for the ladies. Woo! That's so little Tokyo. Palm tree. Oh, that's dope. <laughs> Japan Angeles. <laughs> dope, dope. I'm gonna have to come back here. I'm gonna continue the route, continue the video for you guys. So. Real calm, real lovely. Everything's nice. Christmas here in little Tokyo nice little waterfall here and we will continue monkey pants blooming art <laughs> Um, Korean barbecue. Let's check out the prices. That way you guys know some prices. What we're looking at here. Barbecue, your choice of regular. Medium spicy or spicy extra. Chicken barbecue, 24. Beef barbecue, 25. Got a sushi roll over here. Nine bucks for a cucumber roll. And uh, you got an Acapulco row, 15. With uh, some slots. Check out these slots. Good mood.
We got the jungle store over here. Oh. So they're actually selling this for anybody who knows about this. Great Masa Masangir statue, 6,700, bro. Devil Man statue. Guess how much? 6,700. And it's yours. You got your authentic Japanese outfits here. What it looks like, schoolgirl dress outfit. This could, this could easily be mistaken for a kinky store, but I'm not. I'm not a judge, so. So we're gonna go inside this. Uh, Japanese store that I always like coming into. They always got really. Oh, you're good. Yeah, they always got really good, uh, authentic things going on here. You could get yourself some sushi here. Look at that! Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. I am getting hungry. Japanese pancake. Japanese pancake with octopus. That got me going. Oh man, delicious. Got your cookies here. Pound cake, yeah, look at that. Pound cake, a whole set. Oh man. Fried fish cake with shrimp. Some kimchi. Oh my god, I'm probably have to get me one of these. I think it's gonna put some weight on me though, but some weight on my backpack. I think I'm gonna have to get me one. Some kimchi. Really healthy, really detoxing. Oh man, I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it. Got a smaller one, maybe. Got the candy aisle here. Looks like cookie. knows the best Japanese beer is Sapporo and this is the only time I've ever seen 24 case uh, Asahi is really good too you know where to get it now little Tokyo got myself some kimchi radish a lot of health benefits and uh, Should get me. I'm gonna get me the packets. 
some kimchi here. Got the chip section here. Chips, chips galore. Oh. Avocado cream cheese. That looks good. That's your Japanese Cheetos. The Dorito Lovers. Oh. The bag's big, but not enough chips. Tofu. Tofu lovers, got the cookies. Candy. Sushi over here. Definitely a tea lover. You want to check out the rest? Cookies. Oh man. What do we got here? I'm not sure what that says, but. Great. Soy sauce. Get me some of these. Oh my my. Blueberry cookies, maybe? Well, you have no excuse not to make some authentic Japanese food if you know how, because all the ingredients are definitely here. Those are Sapporo that I mentioned earlier. That's the bomb, that's the bomb. Coffee. For the coffee lovers, I've tried this one. Black Boss. One of these cups is like two or three cups. Spices. Got the leaf to make the sushi. Benefits to mushrooms I do smell some food cooking back there Got you some Japanese Coffee where are you gonna get Japanese coffee? Unless you're gonna order it online Where are you gonna go and get Japanese coffee? Food section. Oh, we 
we're in the good section now. Saki. Saki is the liquor of Japan. And even though these are not sake like you would get in Japan from what I've heard, because some authentic sake will put you down from what I've heard. But I'm pretty sure this is close to authentic as you can get in the States. So I got a Japanese orchard sake. Wow. Check that out. Wow. I got the big bottles. Big bottles for you players. Oh, and yep, and right next to the sake is the little cups. That's what you, uh, that's a shot glass size for sake. Oh, man. Got my lips thirsty, you guys. Well, more, uh, got some tampons, Kleenex. All Japanese, so that's cool. Go some shiitake. That looks like maybe oyster. Oh, that's oyster. Swiss brown mushrooms. I'm not sure what these are. Definitely, if you're not eating mushrooms, you guys need to get on that if you want to get on your health benefits. King Trumpet Mushroom. Oh, that's a good one. $3.99. That is a good deal. So, chestnuts. So you guys, that is a that is a tour of a real Japanese store as as Japanese as it's gonna get in America from Little Tokyo downtown Los Angeles.